Hey everyone, today I'm having a look at the Asus F1 A75V Pro motherboard. This motherboard supports the new AMD Liano APUs. The A75 is the AMD chipset which is on this motherboard. Now the architecture of this motherboard means that there's no Northbridge and Southbridge. There's just a single chipset which is called an FCH Fusion controller hub. Now the functionality of this FCH is basically what a Southbridge normally does and the functionality of the Northbridge has been moved to the APU as well as the memory controller and the onboard graphics. So it's time to have a quick look around the box. Looking at the back of the box we can see a big write-up about some of the main features of the motherboard. The specifications of the motherboard, a write-up about the digital power design, DigiPlus VRM. I'll just quickly go over these, you can pause it where you need to. Dual intelligent processors, TPU, which is the performance processing unit, and EPU, which is the energy efficiency processing unit. A write-up about AI Suite 2, which is a software interface where you can monitor your hardware and do some overclocking etc. The UEFI BIOS. Okay so included in the package we have a driver's CD with an Asus sticker, two SATA 3 cables, we have the back I.O. panel, Asus Q connected and we have a quick start guide and a user guide. Okay so now it's time to have a detailed look at the motherboard. Starting in the top left hand corner of the motherboard, you can see an 8 pin EPS CPU power connector. You can see the socket, socket FM1, which supports the new AMD Liano APUs. You can see a 4 pin fan header there for the CPU fan. You can see 4 memory slots for dual, ch dual channel DDR3 actually up to 64 gigabytes of memory once the 16 gig sticks are released I have no idea when that's going to be but it certainly has support for 64 gigabytes it will probably require a BIOS update as if you'd ever need that much memory on a entry-level motherboard there's the TPU and EPU switches to enable and disable them. Now that's ASUS dual intelligent processors. So TPU is as I've mentioned when we looked at the box the performance processing unit. So this controls overclocking for example real-time overclocking through the ASUS AI Suite 2. Also automatic overclocking and tuning. So EPU is the energy efficiency processing unit it's for power saving the memo K button that's for when the system fails to boot due to incompatible memory you press that button and it will set safe settings for the memory compatible settings another fan header chassis fan 2 it's another 4 pin fan header here we have the 24 pin power connector here we have a front panel USB 3 header which runs off the AMD A75 chipset. A SATA 3 header which runs off an AS Media controller which also has an eSATA 3 port on the back panel. So this motherboard has seven SATA 3 ports in total one of them running off the AS Media controller. Also another eSATA port running off the AS Media controller on the back panel. So these six SATA 3 ports run off the AMD A75 chipset. Down in the bottom right hand corner of the motherboard you can see all the front panel connectors. There's four USB 2 front panel headers. So that's for eight USB 2 ports. In the bottom left hand corner of the motherboard is a front panel audio connector and an SP diff out. Now it's time to have a look at the PCI slot configuration. So up the top we have a PCI times one slot, then a times 16 slot, 
then another times one, then an older PCI slot, another times sixteen slot, and two two more PCI slots. So this motherboard does support Crossfire X, but not SLI. The thing is, if you're running dual graphics cards, the top slot will run at times 16, but the bottom slot will only run at times 4. If you're running a single card, the top slot will of course run at times 16. So that black slot is actually only a times 4 slot. So under this heatsink is the AMD A75 chipset. From there there's a heat pipe going all the way up to the MOFSET heatsink. This sits very low as you can see so you certainly won't have a problem with CPU cooler compatibility. So above the top PCI Express port there's two fan headers, a 4 pin and a 3 pin. So the 4 pin is chassis fan 1 and the 3 pin is the power fan header. So in total there's four fan headers on the motherboard including the CPU fan header. So this motherboard has a 6 plus 2 phase power design. The AMD Liano APU gives this motherboard onboard DirectX 11 graphics support. With certain low-end AMD graphics cards this motherboard supports what AMD calls dual graphics. What this means is that the graphics on board the APU will work with a discrete graphics card for extra performance. Okay so it's time to have a look at the rear input output panel. So starting from the left hand side we have a combo PS2 port, two USB 3, we have optical SP diff out, HDMI and a display port, D sub and DVI-D. We have an eSATA 3 port and two USB 3 ports. So that's four USB 3 ports in total on the back panel and there's also the two USB 3 ports on the front panel header on the motherboard. So that's six USB 3 ports in total. Two of them are from an AS Media controller and four of them are from the AMD A75 chipset. So Two of these are from the Asmedia controller on the back panel. I'm not sure which two though. It doesn't actually say. So there's two USB 2 ports for 10 in total. Eight of them being on the front panel. We have a gigabit LAN port and 7.1 surround sound audio. That sums up this video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more. Thanks everyone.